Hey Cucumbers, I'm going to show you a pretty cool project that I've been working on. This is a digital holographic microscope. Uh, basically, what it can do in theory is image cells live uh, without any stains and in 3D. So you'll get 3D reconstructions out of it. Uh, it doesn't need any lenses in this system, um, and it's all basically processed digitally. So you can't actually see what's going on with your eyeballs. The system consists of three 3D printed parts, which are basically just there to hold the different components in place. There's two electronic components, basically the Raspberry Pi and the Raspberry Pi camera, and the LED, which is the light source. And then there's one extra special component, which is the most expensive part of the entire build, and that's basically a 15 micrometer pinhole which basically converts the LED to a point light source and kind of acts almost like a lens in some ways. In case you need some visual aids to understand the system, I've included a figure from the paper this project is based on. A link to the paper will be in the description. I'm still working out some bugs in the system, so I haven't managed to get a good image of cells yet to show in this video. I'm not sure if it's an issue with my LED, since I'm still waiting on a constant current module, or if some of my reconstruction parameters are off. If anyone here has an idea, feel free to leave a comment. So while I don't have a nice final image, I thought I'd at least show the process anyways. First, you import your captured image to image J. Then you convert the image to grayscale. You'll then be able to go to the digital holographic microscopy plugin, which you'll need to install separately. This opens a window which allows you to input all the distance parameters and wavelength of the LED, for example, so that the software can calculate the real image from the diffraction pattern. And that's it. Then the software will spit out an image. In this case, it mostly looks like static, but I'll hopefully have some decent images to show you all soon. Also, for those of you who think digital holographic microscopy is as cool as I do, here's a little sneak peek of a second holographic microscope that I'm working on. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have all the components moment, so I haven't been able to finish it and actually test it out, uh, but that'll be an upcoming video and project. Uh, it's obviously quite a bit more complex than the previous design, um, but we'll see if it's actually any more functional. So look forward to that.